Hi there. In the background you might hear scaffolding. A scaffold is being brought down here just next to me. It doesn't really matter. We're concentrating on something visual and this is going to be very simple and highly effective. Most people who are familiar with Maya probably know about this, but uh, I always enjoy doing it. Let's create any kind of object. When it lands in the scene you see the channel box here. When you press Control A, you see the attribute editor. When you press Control A again, you see the channel box. Now the um, attribute editor has a node which is called NURBS Torus in this case, where you can change values here. But when you s uh, move the mouse, uh, hold the mouse down and uh, move over here, it only selects the first uh, uh, entry here. So translation uh, 1, if you set this to 10, uh, the torus moves over here and that's all you can do here one by one which is fair enough which is good uh, press uh, control a again and then you have the channel box and the channel box has the property to change several values all at the same time and i'll uh, show you how to do this uh, click and uh, keep the mouse button the left mouse button pressed down and uh, just swipe over here till scale because visibility is uh, not really interesting here. Uh, if you do this uh, nothing happens. You can type in anything. I just type in 4. Uh, it means the wireframe display is on now which is not really what is of interest. The trick here to change all these values at the same time is to actually press and hold the mouse, the left mouse button and move the cursor over here. And now you can select the values as well as the names of the nodes, the translate x and the zero. And now when you type in say 12, all values will change. Although you see it only down here at the, sc uh, at the last entry, scale z, uh, but when you press enter now, all values go to 12. And when you press a now, you see a gigantic torus which is rotated 12 and 12 and 12 degrees in three axes and it's being translated into uh, all three dimensions by 12 units and it's scaled down quite a, quite a bit uh, 12 12 12 so let's rescale it again uh, we just select this we move the mouse over here and instead of the 12 we want to have a 2 so we have a smaller one and uh, if you want the uh, translation in X and Z not being 12 but being 3, we type in 3. So the torus moves down but it does not change the position in X. X is the red position, this is this, this axis here. So uh, this is all I wanted to show you now. It's uh, such a short and uh, hopefully quite useful tutorial that I won't end with the music. Bye bye, have a nice day.